Hello everyone, I am Joseph. As the epidemic heats up recently, many people feel very anxious. So many things we can't fully understand. There are lots of doubts in our minds. I'm here to help. This is the data collected for everyone. Through these data, we hope to learn something. Let's compare the vaccines in the market. The most commonly used vaccines are Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, and Sinovac. As for Pfizer and Moderna, they both are mRNA vaccines, developed under the latest technology. Hence I group them in the same category. So let's analyze them together. AZ vaccine is an viral vector vaccine. Sinovac is an inactivated vaccine. So they are three very different vaccines. Via these data. The data that we could search online. Let's make a comparison. Let's look into the US, UK, Israel and Chile. Let's look into the US, Israel, the UK and Chile. Their people are among the world, with the highest vaccination rate. Let's look into the US first. In the US, nearly 50% of the population have been fully vaccinated. Israel has achieved nearly 60% of vaccination rate. The UK is slightly over 50%. And Chile is the country with the highest vaccination rate in the world. As for the vaccines used, 95% are vaccinated with Sinovac and 5% are vaccinated with Pfizer. It happens that the US and Israel both mainly use Pfizer and Moderna for their people. And the UK? Of course their people are vaccinated with their domestic vaccine, AZ. As for Chile, their people are vaccinated with Sinovac. In order to understand the performance of the vaccines in many aspects, we have to look into these topics. That is the highest daily confirmed case. Let's find out in which month they hit the highest number of daily confirmed cases. Through this, we can also understand how the weather condition influence the transmission of the coronavirus. It makes us better understand the virus in different season. On top of observing the highest confirmed cases, we shall look into the highest daily death tolls. In fact the daily death tolls would be a better indicator, simply because the screening efforts in each country might be different. Deviation does exist. The vaccines we choose must be able to protect us from severe illness and death. Next, we shall observe their recent performances. Let's find out when they have reached the lowest confirmed cases. and the lowest death rate. When the vaccination rate reaches the highest, do the number of confirmed cases and deaths also reach their lowest point? Before we get into the comparison, let's look into their population. In the United States, its population about five times that of the UK. Hence, you have to multiply by five. You have to multiply British's numbers by 5, to be able to compare well with the US. Chile is twice the population of Israel. Next, we have to understand the per capita income in each country. We understand that the first three countries are all developed economies. They are the US, Israel and the UK. The average annual income of their people are all above $40,000. Chile is a moderately developed country. It has an average annual income of $15,000 per person. Their medical facility is good. Basically, this data can be compared on a fair platform. I have made a simple chart for you. Let's take a look at the U.S. The U.S. reached the highest number of confirmed cases on January 8. There are 300,000 positive cases on that day.
we realize that most of the countries in the Northern Hemisphere hit their highest number of confirmed cases in early January. For instance, Israel with a population of 9 million, as many as 10,000 confirmed cases in a day. So this is quite a shocking number. Equivalent to 30,000 confirmed cases in Malaysia in a day, the population of the UK is twice the population of Malaysia. On January 8, there were about 70,000 confirmed cases in the UK, that is the equivalent of 30,000 cases in Malaysia. Let's look into Chile now. The number of confirmed cases in Chile is not that high. However, the number of deaths is relatively high. It could probably due to their low COVID-19 testing capacity. Relatively speaking, the economic strength of a country may affect its screening capacity. Chile's population is 18 million and half of Malaysia's. 9,000 confirmed cases is equivalent to 18,000 people in Malaysia. Cold weather boosts the spread of coronavirus. It plays a vital role. We realize that these countries with four distinct seasons, winters is always the flu season. So everyone should be more careful. The death tolls will always hit the highest 10 days after they had reached the highest number of confirmed cases. Let's look at the highest record in the US. Nearly 4,400 people die in a day. In Israel, 92 people die in a day. So this is quite a shocking number. The population in the UK is seven times that of Israel. Their highest confirmed number is equivalent to 70,000 cases in the UK. So the data between them are actually quite close. However, the number of deaths in the UK is much higher. More than 1,800 people die in a day in the UK. In Israel, the highest number is 92 deaths a day. That is equivalent to 300 deaths a day in Malaysia. Well, I guess everyone can get a better picture now. What about the US? The highest number of deaths was on January 20th. Nearly 4,400 people died on that day. Let's take a look at their recent situation. You understand that the number of confirmed cases is rebounding slightly. That is due to the Delta virus. The number of confirmed cases is very high. But this is the key point. We must understand that, even though their number of confirmed cases has been rising lately. Has their death tolls increased a lot? Let's make a comparison among their highest number of deaths, as well as the lowest number of deaths. The record of deaths in middle and high income countries should be very accurate and reliable. So it can be used as a better indicator. Let's take a look at the lowest number of deaths. We realize that all these countries with highest vaccination rate have ever recorded zero COVID-19 death tolls during the pandemic. But we also find that the period when the epidemic is slowing down were different. In the summer, both the number of confirmed cases and death tolls were lower. Let's compare their recent results. The death tolls have all dropped to zero. The United States recorded zero cases on July 2nd. In May, June and July 2021, Israel recorded zero deaths most of the time and always less than three deaths. As for zero deaths, they achieved this goal for quite a few days. Then the UK reached zero deaths on June 1st. Chile is in the Southern Hemisphere when summer comes, that is in November and December, 
they also recorded zero deaths quite a number of times. Let's take a look at the recent figures, that is the figures after the rebound. What happened after the US reached zero deaths on July 2nd? In less than two weeks, the number has soared to more than 300 deaths per day. However, the US is among the four countries with the lowest vaccination rate, that is less than 50%. Less than half of the population completed two doses of vaccination. According to the data released by their government, it is not that the death toll is actually contributed by the people who have not received the vaccine. Israel's results are still very impressive. Their single-day death toll is controlled within three cases. Although the number of confirmed cases has soared to 1,000 cases per day recently, but don't forget that they used to hit the highest of 10,000 cases per day. Israel also recorded zero confirmed cases on June 8. That is, no one was infected with COVID-19 at all in the country, dropped from the all-time high of 10,000 cases and now it has rebounded to about 1,000 confirmed cases per day. Hence, they must still stay vigilant all the time. However, their death toll still remains at a very low number, that is less than 3 deaths a day. Well, from the above observation, we could assert that, so far, Pfizer vaccine has delivered very good results in preventing the death. But there is one more factor we need to take into account, that is, weather. Will the vaccines will perform in winter? Let's wait and see. Now Chile is in winter time. It's also the outbreak period. Its death tolls has not been significantly reduced. We shall see the line graph later. So Chile now has 30 to 200 deaths per day, up and down, no obvious changes for months. We shall understand the trend by looking at the chart later. Chile's lowest daily death toll is zero. Chile's lowest single day death was in November and December in year 2020. It was before the vaccination started. The number of deaths was below 30 cases per day for weeks. Now over 60% of Chile's population has been vaccinated, but its death toll is still very high, ranging from 30 to 200 deaths a day. The highest death tolls fell in June and July year 2020, that is, their winter, hit 734 deaths in a single day. Well, my dear friends, we just need to do Google search. Enter the words of the US pandemic, and we shall see this chart after the search. The chart is very clear, allowing us to understand the trend of the entire pandemic, that it could also give us a better understanding of the effect of vaccines in these four countries. With this data, we can better understand the development trend of the pandemic. The number of confirmed cases in the U.S. reached 300,000 cases at the beginning of January. Then, its turning point is seen very quickly after then. After mid-January year 2021, there was a sustained drop. Is this sharp decline due to mass vaccination? Let's take a look at the chart. In fact, their vaccination was carried out very steadily. Then in mid-January, the vaccination rate was not high. Only 3% of the population received the first dose of vaccines in January, year 2021. Not many have completed two doses of vaccines then, mainly those medical staff. 
but the confirmed cases have started to decline drastically. Then let's take a look at the deaths. The number of deaths in the United States persists until February year 2021 before a significant decline began. From January to mid-February year 2021, their deaths are still at a very high level, say about one to 5,000 people die every day. You can see that as many as 5,000 people die in one single day. Right, 5,000 people die of COVID-19 in one single day. That is the highest record in the US. It has averaged 5,100 deaths a day, which is quite a shocking record. So the number of deaths has dropped significantly at the end of February. It was a significant drop. Then slightly rise again and then continue to fall. By the end of February, 15 to 16 percent of the US people have received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. In other countries, they show significant improvement only after 30% of the population completed two doses of vaccine. But the US is a very special case. After more than 10% of the population was vaccinated, confirmed cases and deaths began to decline. It could be due to their tightened pandemic prevention measures coupled with the increasing vaccination rate. That is a pretty good number, and it persists for months. They even made it to zero cases on July 2nd, year 2021. However, it has rebounded to three digits per day lately. According to their reports, deaths are mainly from people who have not been vaccinated. So in the US, the performance of Pfizer and Moderna are very good. It can be seen from the drastic drop of death tolls. The number of confirmed cases has also dropped significantly. There has been more confirmed cases lately due to the outbreak of Delta virus. Another major factor is the season. So will they set a new record height in winter? That is hard to say. Climate is another major factor. Can the vaccines perform the same in winter? We shall wait and see. Okay, now let's take a look at the situation in Israel. The number of confirmed cases in Israel peaked in early January. Then it fell, rose again, fell again, rose again a little bit, and continued to fall. So you can see a real significant reduction. The turning point is at the beginning of March. So, by April 1st, 2021, it has dropped to a very low level. Now, let's take a look at their vaccination rate. You can see that at the beginning of March, more than half of the population had received at least one dose of the vaccine. So, they maintained at this level from the beginning of March to the present. Their vaccination rate has encountered a bottleneck, and the increase is not much. The vaccination rate in Israel almost hit the peak in the first three to four months. Every country always has close to 30 to 40 percent of the population are suspicious or hesitate about the vaccines. We still hope that the people of our country can actively participate in vaccination. In fact, Israel's vaccination has a very critical impact on their epidemic control. So you can see that the death tolls dropped significantly after early March this year. After their people have generally started the vaccination, there is a significant decline. So the vaccine has played a very critical and important role in managing the pandemic in Israel. You can also see the death tolls in Israel has been controlled to below 3 cases per day since the end of April till now. So Israel has made outstanding achievements in vaccination and epidemic control. Okay, let's take a look at the Chilean epidemic. 
Chile is the only country where the number of confirmed cases continues to rise after the people are generally vaccinated. We have to look closely at January 2021. After January, the people of Chile start to get vaccinated. Then, in fact, January is summer in Chile. During the summer, in other three northern hemisphere countries, after the people are generally vaccinated, both confirmed cases and death tolls have dropped significantly. However, Chileans haven't had enough of outbreak control in their country. This is a factor we need to consider. You can see that the number of confirmed cases in Chile is still rising. Does the vaccine they use offers enough protection during this period? It's up to you to judge. So in January, as the vaccination rate increased, their cases continue to climb. There was an inflection point in mid-April 2021, and the number of confirmed cases began to decline. But unfortunately, it started to rise again in mid-May this year. This is the time when the new variant begins to wreck Harvard. But recently, it has ushered in a significant decrease in the number of confirmed cases. Does Sinovac really work? During this period of time, the Southern Hemisphere countries are in winter. Let's take a look at their vaccination situation. In fact, Chile actively started vaccination in early February this year. The total number of vaccinations rises steadily. So far, Chile is actually the country with the highest vaccination rate in the world. 30 to 40 deaths or 70 to 80 deaths a day. But their death tolls have never been well controlled and zero death is not sustainable. Maybe in the coming month, they should have basically achieved the goal of herd immunity in number. But is it the real situation? Let's take a look at their death tolls. Okay, the number of deaths reached a peak in mid-June last year. 230 people died of COVID-19 in one single day in Chile, which is equivalent to 400 people in Malaysia. You can find that by the end of the year, it's a time when Chile's pandemic is better controlled. They achieved zero deaths quite a number of days then. In summer, the number of deaths in a single day can be controlled under 100 cases. 30 to 40 deaths or 70 to 80 deaths a day. But their death tolls have never been well controlled and zero death is not sustainable. But Chile is in winter now. As you can see, in June and July 2021, the number of deaths in Chile has doubled or even tripled. The lowest death tolls is in early December. On average, about 20 to 40 people die every day. We can look at these average figures. The average death rate for 7 days is about 10 deaths in a day. The average number of deaths per day at the moment is about 100 people. The fluctuation of the single day data is quite large. So let's take this 7 day average. And the 7 day average is about 100 deaths. The lowest 7 day average is about 30 deaths in a day. When you compare to the lowest point, it's about three times higher now. We have seen lots of news about the issues in Chile. Chile's pandemic control is actually not good enough. Among the four countries, Chile is the only country where the number of deaths has not decreased significantly. It might be affected by the weather, but... When their population reached a high vaccination rate, it happened to enter the winter. That's when the virus is raging. Let's compare the current death tolls in Chile with the peak period last year. Last winter, their 7-day average deaths exceeded 200 cases a day. 
Currently, about 100 people die of COVID-19 every day in Chile, so there is still nearly a 50% reduction as Delta wrecks Howard in the country. It is far more transmissible than the first variant, so when the destructiveness of the virus has increased several times, Sinovic still managed to reduce the deaths in Chile. Can Pfizer, Moderna and AZ vaccines fight viruses in winter? Let's wait and see. What is commendable is that Sinovac reduces the mortality rate even with the existence of new variants and bad weather. But is it good enough? It still provides more than 50% protection. I'm just showing you how to understand the situation through data collection. Based on the number of cases as well as the vaccination rate, we can better understand how will the vaccines protect us from the virus. We now understand that all vaccines have vital impacts on the development of pandemic. Let's wait no further. All vaccines are good. Although some vaccines are pretty effective in controlling the numbers, while some are not, but they assert considerable protection. We also learned that climate factors are vital. The cold weather in winter boosts the spread of coronavirus. The number of deaths will be very high in winter. All vaccines approved by the WHO are good. Nothing wrong with that. But at present, some countries may start to choose when vaccines are abandoned. They will choose a vaccine with instant result. But in general, these four major vaccines are very good. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. We can continue to interact. Thank you.